some animals at Wakati Zoo in the Myrtle Beach area show signs of psychological distress, according to a new report from the United States Department of Agriculture. The report, which was conducted March 28, describes two baboons, a macaque monkey and two black bears pacing, rocking back and forth and showing repetitive behavior. We get inspected just like all the restaurants do, a health inspection, said Jeff Futrell, whose family owns the zoo. If there's any problems, we're given a certain amount of time to take care of them, just like a restaurant. You go in there and find a dirty spoon or hair in the beans, you're given so much time to take care of it then everything's alright. One of the baboons was observed pacing in circles and figure eights while the other rocked back and forth, tossing his head. The macaque monkey also was seen licking the tip of his tail. According to the report, the tip did not have fur and was red due to possible frostbite that occurred in the past. The monkey also has floating limb syndrome, where his leg lifts up, he sees it and attacks it, the report reads. According to the report, the black bears would pace 10 to 12 steps, turn around, and again walk the length of their enclosure. Modifications have not been made on the exhibit, and construction on a proposed enclosure has not begun. All of these animals are showing signs of psychological distress, the report reads. Although they came to the zoo many years ago with these behaviors, they need to be recognized as requiring special attention, and more to be done to try and alleviate these behaviors. When asked how owners would tackle issues listed in the report, Futrell said the zoo would take care of them, people for the ethical treatment of animals has protested the zoo several times over the years. In a news release, PETA Foundation Vice President Delciana Winders said, Bears and primates are highly intelligent animals who need a real life, meaning stimulation and proper care, and without it, they slowly go insane. The psychological suffering on display at the Wakati Zoo is exactly why PETA urges everyone to stay away from this and all other shoddy roadside zoos, Futrell said he has zero thoughts on PETA's protests.